Hi, I'm Adrian, and welcome to the CADSPEC YouTube channel. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be looking at what is NetFab, what it does, and we're going to get some customer feedback as well. Let's jump straight in. You may not know this, but a lot of NetFab features can be found as standard in Fusion 360. If you haven't tried Fusion 360 yourself, then I strongly recommend you do. It is a fantastic product in its own line. So why do we need products like NetFab? Why can't we just press print? The reason we need products like NetFab is the same reason as you'd run a product like Autodesk PowerMill, for instance, on your CNC machine. You wouldn't consider using a machine like that without a powerful software to help drive it. As we continue to push the scope of additive manufacturing from the constraints of traditional manufacturing methods, we ideally want to test and validate the production of those parts in a virtual world. Yes, you could just press print and learn via trial and error, but because this isn't always a fast process and can be expensive, far better to reduce those iterations in an environment where we can fail quickly and tweak until right. As we innovate further, product designers and innovators will utilize generative design tools and tools like NetFab will help ensure that a part is fully optimized for 3D printing. So we've looked into why you need a product like NetFab, so let's take a closer look at what it actually does. Since 2021, Fusion 360 comes with standard version of NetFab. For those that are looking for additional functionality, we've got the premium product or the ultimate, which can be purchased as separate standalone subscriptions. But let's look at what the basic Fusion with NetFab can bring to users. One of my favorite features is that we can convert and import CAD files from a multitude of different CAD vendors. It doesn't just have to be Autodesk product, which makes it a lot easier for you as the user. We can create models that take full advantage of additive manufacturing, and we can maximize the number of parts that you can fit on one single build. So that's a little bit about NetFab, the standard version, but in the higher level platforms, we can do even more. Let's look a little bit further what we can do with Ultimate and Premium. With Ultimate and Premium, it allows us to get more from our part build no matter what machine is used. In turn, we can shorten production times and reduce manufacturing costs. So we can use multi-scale modeling to predict the thermal and mechanical response of parts and help reduce build failures, which can be expensive on metal powder bed fusion systems. We can simulate full builds for both powder bed and wire-fed DED processes with NetFab local simulation. We've got fast predictive simulation with adaptive meshing and physics-based multi-scale approach to help keep processing time low and accuracy high. So what's important about any software? Well, it's customer feedback. What do we get from the user perspective? Well, I've spoken to James in our 3D Print Bureau as an absolute avid user and he loves NetFab. And let's just go through some of the things that James has told me as to why he likes using that product above anything else in the market. The first and most important feedback James has given me is the ease of use. James has used a lot of design softwares over his years and to pick up NetFab, he said it was so intuitive. Uh, he was up and running in next to no time and getting productivity out of the product. I would actually say James is now a very good power user and he's pushing it really to its limits. James also added that he can import and export files in different formats. And because the Bureau don't just deal with one particular customer in one sector, it means we can handle a wide variety of formats from different applications with ease. So whether that's an SDL file, IGIS file, STEP file, and many more. And for final point, which highlights some of the comments I've made earlier on about adapting for additive manufacturing, James commented that the lattice topology utility within NetFab enables users to generate lattice surfaces of repeating patterns. This enables us to reduce weight of part production through additive manufacturing without compromising performance. This feature takes advantage of additive manufacturing ability to produce parts with complex geometry with much more ease than more traditional manufacturing methods. So the one thing about additive manufacturing, which is absolutely fantastic, is it lifts the constraints that we've always worked for for many years within traditional manufacturing. So as designers, we've learned how to design products that can be manufactured in certain ways. But with new technologies, uh, cutting edge software like generative design, for instance, it really pushes the boundary of what we can do and really can only be achieved with additive manufacturing. So that's hopefully giving you a little bit more information about what NetFab is, what it actually does, and some useful customer feedback. If you'd like to know more about NetFab, then do contact the team at CADSPEC and we'd be delighted to help you. Remember to like, 
Please subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll see you next time.